You guys can't tell what's happening right now uh the rx7 is getting towed onto a flatbed and that is because we low-key might have just blown the the apex seal the rotary i'm not a hundred percent sure right now so yo this is so devastating right now i'm not even capping like i'm pretty sad sad boy hours for sure but at least the car looks good and I don't know what it is. We keep getting good luck that we keep getting like the coolest like tow truck drivers because the last three tow truck drivers I've had are actually really cool. All right, guys. So the FD is back home. Um, we got it off the truck and everything. Won't lie, sad boy hours for sure. I'm pretty devastated, dude. Like just, <laughs> just think about how I'm feeling right now. The car's been from shop to shop to shop for the last three months, from August to literally. Uh, the last couple of days of October, it was from shop to shop. Finally get the car back, go through SEMA, it's running perfect, everything's cool. Drive it one time for the first time a day, finally get the car aligned and everything. And just it, it fucking this happened, I don't know what's going on. So basically what we ended up doing is I ended up taking the spark plugs out. Um, because so before I say that the, the apex is blown or the apex seal is gone, um, the car is like having a rough time starting. Um, it's kind of idling like crap and it's just running like crap. So could be a coil pack, could be spark plugs, could be something with the igni like, you know, the ignition, the spark the, that, that gives you power to the car. So I'm hoping that's what it is. We clean the spark plugs off. Hopefully we're going to let everything sit for the night. And then tomorrow, hopefully I'm praying to God that for whatever reason, um, I come out here, I'm in a bad dream and the car just starts up and we can drive. Um, because tomorrow's seven stock, which is basically the biggest car um, road, rotary show here in SoCal. So I really want to go, but yeah, I'm just feeling defeated today. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm pretty sad. <laughs> crazy bro mike and them were like yo we don't care if your car's blown we don't care if your butt got blown you know what i'm saying like come to seven stock so i guess we're gonna load up the fda and we're gonna go to seven stock yeah this is, this is wild bro too much booty on that yeah so we're, that's what we're <laughs> just, just saying right now we're like make oh sure you turn up <laughs> are you all adult you like oh, oh shit oh. Yeah. nice oh yeah you made it we got the we got the show <laughs> jesus we made it we made it first seven stock we made it thanks to the boys for pushing to you yeah, thanks mike yeah. for having like I told you guys, I felt really bad that I like I blew up my car. Oh, I, I don't know if I blew it up, but I felt bad because Mike killed these tail lights, and I was like, bro, there's no way. Like I gotta find a way to make it to show off his hard work, and we're here. What do you guys think? Look at the rotary looks so sick, and this Nazatec Urban Bamboo is so beautiful. The sun. It's been the car's been from shop to shop to shop, and at SEMA, obviously, I didn't get to see the car a lot because I was too busy running around. But man, this pearl urban bamboo looks so badass in the sun it has kind of like a gold tint if you guys can notice it or not but yeah i mean the car is here for the most part and look at all of the other cool cars here at the booth you got bailey's super wide body fc and then you have mike his fc right here as well look at these all of them have custom tails on them which is pretty badass so if you guys need any kind of tail work for your rx7 definitely hit him up his instagram is somewhere around here i'll show right now but Dude, look at these guys. Their cars are badass and they got some badass engines in here. One of these days will make my engine look like this. Look at Bailey's. Bailey's looks really good. That looks sick. And then of course, he's got the retrofitted um, turns up front, which 
Mike can do for you as well. But look at this. Next to my FD, we actually have Johnny's um, RX-7s. And we've seen this multiple times, but the cool one is this one because he just basically teamed up with Rocket Bunny and they they made a version two of the Rocket Bunny body kit for the FC. It has a couple of differences and like new additions in the front, as you can tell. Um, the fog lights are a little bit different, and it also has a new slicker um, looking front end. But dude, this car looks so badass. I wasn't able to film it as much just because there was so much going on at SEMA. But dude, this thing looks badass. And then man, it has the dual exhaust tip. Something I absolutely love on cars is the dual exhaust tip. But man, what do you guys think? Even this Rocket Bunny wing, it's pretty badass. I don't think. I don't think I've seen this on any kind of car out here, let alone a Rocket Bunny body kit. Dude, this thing is so sick. This is really cool too. If you guys don't know, this is Kyle Mohan, uh, Formula Drift driver. And it's really cool to actually see his cars in person. I've never, he's like the one driver I've never actually been able to go up close to his cars at Formula Drift for whatever reason. But to see it here is actually badass. If you guys can't tell, this is a little Miata with a big old rotary in here. Look at this, a three rotor. I want to know what this sounds like. I can guarantee you it sounds insane. What do you guys think? Should we throw a three rotor into something? To be completely honest, I'm so broke. Like I, I can't afford three rotors. I can't afford anything right now. And if for whatever reason the seal is blown on my rotary, then I'm going to go more into debt. So uh, maybe I should stop talking about buying more rotaries. What do you think? Should we buy more rotaries? Yeah. Oh, you see, you, you guys see, this is the best and worst influence in my life because she just full sends it with me. So I was just looking at how crazy this car looks and then I found out that it's actually Kyle's car as well. So this man has three different rotaries here. I still don't know what body kit this is, but it looks freaking nuts, dude. Like, and the one thing I did notice is besides how crazy this body kit actually looks, and I don't know about this front end, it actually looks like like two nostrils it looks like this car actually has a nose like this is a real face up here um but the front spray looks sick but the one thing i did notice is these fenders they kind of look like the r34 flenders the the v-spec ones the when the way they flare out but you have this crazy gap right here which basically exposes your tire and i think that looks so badass right there but then yeah you go back to this crazy like side splitter into this crazy uh over in the rear and then in the back you have a double wing like you got a wing on top of a wing i don't know man this is kind of like really out there and i don't know if i would ever be able to rock this but this car is definitely unique if anything what do you guys think yo another company i want to say huge shout out to is rx lights as you guys can see look at these headlights they look badass they're actually the company that made my um shotting gun headlights for the rx7 um so if you guys definitely need headlights for rx7s and particularly check them out that is literally what their instagram is called and you have sam's car right there too look at sam's car is always looking super clean as always it's carbon fiber i can't wait till he fully does the carbon fiber but sam's car looks absolutely badass and if you guys need any kind of headlights definitely check out rx lights dude they do sick stuff they got really cool cars over here too this is us hiding in the shade because it's so bro we're in november how hot is it out here it's like probably 90 degrees bro it's here. it's hot I, I look at Californians all complain about the heat and we want rain and then it rains and we all complain about the rain but bro it, it's hot out here guys but the craziest thing is how big this place is like honestly like I've been to a lot of our window shows I, I honestly like not even hate against our window I, I'm sick of this place there's too many shows here but this is my first time at seven stock and it's the first time I actually see someone or a company use literally the entire lot like everywhere you see there's cars and booths like it's actually kind of nuts how many cars and booths are here yo look at these bad boys over here i feel like we're like super deep into so maybe the 80s mazda r100 i've never even heard of this car this thing's pretty badass and obviously you can tell they've been taking it to the drag strip look at this all carbon fiber all freaking stripped down inside of here this car probably weighs absolutely nothing and it has a 13B in here. This is super badass right here. Look at this. This thing is hard and obviously Import Works. You guys make sure you guys show them love. Import Works is so badass. They're such cool people. This car looks sick. And look at this right here. This looks absolutely sick. Dang. And then look at this, man. This makes me, this makes me really miss the yellow FD now. Like I obviously love how good my RX-7 looks, but 
looking at this really makes me miss my yellow. Yo, so let me show you guys some really cool things here at Seven Stock. Mazda's actually here, bro, which is pretty badass. But look at this. This is the Mazda 792P, which literally has a 26 in here, which is the same engine that actually won the Le Mans race back in the 90s, I believe it was. Not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But dude, this looks badass. Look at this freaking race car. It's kind of crazy that this car was only in development for a little bit. But man, look how sick this looks. And then right over there, look at that bad boy. Let's go check that out. <laughs> We're actually gonna turn it on right now in a little bit to let us hear what it sounds like. But dude, this thing's fucking sick. Look at this wing and the engine back here. Look at these tires, bro. This is nuts. Some big old fatties back here. Look at that. And then look at the cockpit. Can you imagine being inside of this tiny little thing? <laughs> Sick, dude. This car is so badass. So we just left Seven Stock. Um, cool me. We were always shooting with the boys now. We got a bad meter. We got surge visuals. We got two daddies out here, bro. We got some daddies out here. But here's a sketchy thing, bro. They have me out in the middle of some big ass hill and we're gonna unload the FD, so. It's worth it. I mean, I have insurance, so if anything happens, the FD's covered, but this is Loki low says, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got it. All right, here we go. Yo, yeah, watch, watch that, watch that then. No, he's good, he's good. I'll be the first to say I, I I it's not that I don't like shooting in LA but LA is always difficult but bro this is why people come to shoot in LA look how beautiful the scenery is these guys are about to kill it damn look at look at damn bro these guys are crazy bro these guys are crazy bro these guys are crazy bro